Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mellow Dottie. And welcome to Terraria Month. Yay! 1.3 hype. So I figured I had to relearn how to play the game on the console. And need an excuse to play 1.2.4 on the console. So I could reacquaint myself with the controls. And so we created this world. I'm still looking for submissions for building ideas. I'm going to run out of NPC space pretty soon. So any ideas you can come up with. Please let me know. For those interested in helping support the channel, I have opened a Patreon. Link will be in the description below. And that is enough of that. Welcome to Terraria Month. So, you might notice I'm using a different character than in the preview videos. And that's because I was a uh, dummy and deleted the character. So, Merv the Android is gone. And so is the slime staff that I got in the second slime I killed. So, I don't get to enjoy that. But we've gotten all our other stuff back, like space gun, our meteorite armor, our mini shark, our ivy whip, some ultrabite torches. Didn't get a mirror, but I got a recall potion. I'm gonna hoof it on over to the dungeon and kill us some monsters. Hope you noticed there at the sign, I had a couple trophies. I finally got the Eye of Cthulhu to drop me a trophy. That took forever. And yeah. Uh, what was the other one I had there? The Brain. I fought the Brain of Cthulhu on Merv before Merv got deleted. So I'm gonna have to go fight the Brain some more. I don't think I recorded any of that, so maybe that'll be the next episode. Gotta fight the Brain. Find the Brain thing so I can get the, uh... I forget what the magic wand that you can make out of the stuff that is. The Crimson Armor. All those lovely things. And get the little handgun. The Undertaker! So we're heading on over. Should be almost nighttime by the time we get there. That'll be good. So this is Terra. This character's Terra. Again, I don't know if I'm going to go for any specific build at any point. Our light ball, as always, is known as Eridus. When I'm playing. Long time internet buddy. Just floating there being all happy. Thank you again to Elijah Taylor for the uh, suggestion. For the sign. This is what my Skeletron arena looks like. It's about as simple as the Eye of Cthulhu one. Some stairs, some platforms, campfire. I forget how hard he is on console. I don't think he's going to be that hard. I remember him only really being hard in expert mode. But just in case, I brought a whole bunch of potions. So we're doing good. So now we just play the waiting game. So yeah, once again, please, if you have any ideas of any buildings you'd like to see me attempt to build for the little hub town here, on Terraria Month. Please let me know. I'll do my best to build it. Um, so yeah, any bosses are on the menu. I just want to upload a bunch of Terraria themed videos because I love Terraria. Felt like playing Terraria again. Needed something to motivate me in gear. How have you been? How you guys been doing? Did you have a happy Halloween? I went out with a friend of mine and a couple other friends. They took all the kids and went trick-or-treating. It's all kinds of great costumes from a baby that was dressed like Mario. Several Batman. Every Darth I can think of except, uh... What was the name? The one that, uh, Dooku played. Spoiler alert. Sidious? That guy. I can't imagine spoiler alert would be justified. <laughs> Movies like over a decade old, but you know, just to be safe. Bookcase. Why have I not taken this? Oh, I hear nighttime. Let's help this old man break his curse. Ow! A jerk Skeletron. Now, no, I can hurt him just fine. I don't even have to kill the arms. Okay, yeah, this this version of him is pretty easy. On PC, on 1.3, he's a little more. Uh, Aggressive, for one, does way more damage. You have to kill the hands before you can hurt the head. Lots of little weird traits about him. But, space gun wrecks him. I see he's not doing much in the way of damage. Oh, I miss being able to dash with the shield of Cthulhu. 1.3 on console cannot come soon enough for me. There's so many, uh, and of course, I'll be playing on expert mode because there's just so many expert mode only items I love so much. But let's get blasted here with the space gun on the Skeletron. One of my favorite bosses. 
Just because he's very, very classic in my mind. And I've seen a mod that turns him into John Cena. And that makes me endlessly, endlessly amounts of happy. Ah, oh, jeez. Pimp slapped me. Take that, skelly man. As you can see, he's kind of a joke. Like, you in expert mode as an engage. But yeah, I have some decent armor. I just have the meteor set. First meteor you get will get you the set of armor. And second meteor you get will get you enough meteor bars to get you a space gun. And of course, to get the meteors to drop, you just break them shadow orb thingies. Feel free to create a secondary farming world so you get more orb thingies to smash. You're probably going to have to make a secondary world until 1.3 comes along anyway because you're going to want a world with corruption in it and a world with crimson in it. Take that, skelly hand. One hand is skelly man. You dead yet? You're getting there. So as you can see, my aim is a little off on console. Oh, his other hand's dead. Wait. Alright. Come on, skelly man. Spin your head at me. I don't even need to run from him. On expert mode on PC in 1.3, he moves way faster than this, and he does way more damage. He'll pretty much insta-kill you if the spinny head gets you. But the arena doesn't change much. And there we go. That's one dead Skeletron. And now we have access to the dungeon. And in the morning, a new NPC shall come to town. I also missed a book up here, apparently. I don't think it's the uh, spell I'm looking for. It is not. Pew pew, pew pew pew, pew. Do you guys make pew pew noises when you shoot your lasers and guns? I do. I'm not ashamed. I'll tell you. There's a treasure chest over there and I want it. There's a treasure chest right here and I want it. I hear the dungeon music. I got a gold key. What will our first piece of super treasure be? Will it even be super? Turn that light on. I feel more comfortable with honor for some reason. I don't see any uh, spell books yet. There's a few ways to tell. Uh, down in the corner, the buttons will change. If you're sitting on top of a spell book. I think a little book icon comes up too, but I don't know if that's PC only or if it happens on console. I can't remember. So I'm just going to look for a spell book. Everybody, everybody wants, everybody wants Aqua Bowl. Come on now. I see no spell book. This is dumb. Give me a spell book. Title this episode, The Search for a Spell Book. All right, skelly man. Oh no, I didn't, well, why do I care? Precious inventory space has been taken. Oh no. Hmm. You don't hit as hard either. You take a lot of hits though. That's kind of annoying. These guys will stop you from using weapons, I think. Either way, they can go through walls. They phase. All right, skelly man. So you get a lot of free furniture down here. There's dresser here, torch here, spikes here. I am doing a terrible job of dodging them. But we found our book. I don't see a book icon, but notice how it says used down there in the corner? There it is. Ooh, it's demonic modifier? Oh, sick. Give me that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's show this necromancer what we're about. Where are you, buddy? Hi, buddy. You're done. So it bounces off walls. Really helpful for finding floating islands. You can create a nice defensive perimeter. Overall, very strong spell. Like, look at it just wrecking those things down there. And they don't even know it's hitting them yet. Oh, and we get our first piece of treasure before the end of the episode. Excellent. Excellent. So let's take care of that. Okay. And the goblin. Wonderful. We can get the reforge guy. I don't have any gold on me, but he'll go back to my town when he dies. Get out of here. Space gun. That's what we get. Shield. That's the item you want. That and the shadow key, but we got the main one I wanted. One of my favorite accessories. Ow! Alright. Let's get out of here. We got a couple things. So I think the goblin moves in immediately, but... Yeah, there he is. Sweet. Xenos. He can reforge items. He can take your items and combine them. Or, sorry, he can reforge them to get better modifiers. You can buy the workshop from him for 10 gold. And it'll allow you to combine accessories and save on space. And this is where we're going to end episode 
Can I buy the rocket boots right now? Done. All right, we have rocket boots. The goblin will show up after you clear a goblin invasion. And you have to find him underground. I found him in the dungeon. I guess it was underground enough. But we have rocket boots. Oh, yeah. We're doing good. So I hope you guys enjoy Terraria Month. I think we're going to have a fun time. Like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy what you see. And you want to help me get the bills paid and whatnot. Have an extra buck kicking around. Want to enjoy some of them sweet Melodotty perks. By the way, if you, if there's a, any perks or anything you want on the Patreon, feel free to leave a suggestion. I don't take offense. But feel like contributing. That'd be swell. I hope you guys enjoy Terraria. And I hope you guys are getting as hype as I am for 1.3. Which I'm really hoping we get before Christmas. But we'll see. Until next time. This is Mel Daddy saying. Bye-bye.